medium units. Yeah. And when the team fight, I expect that you follow the rule what you have got on the dressing room. Okay? Protect yourself. Cut off. Good luck. Well, Carl Frampton, Kiko Martinez and Kid Galahad have all gone on to be world champions after winning this title. And if hometown support counts for anything, this could well be the night for Liam Davis. For the first round. Who was outstanding in beating Mark Leach. Tonight he's got to find a little bit more against a man who seems to fight every round, Richie, as though it's his last. And we do know that the looter is a fast starter and there is a feeling that this might be a fight that Davis has to grow into. He'll throw the straighter punches, Davis. He's a bit of a hooker, isn't he, Baluta? And a real pressure fighter. We saw that against Brad Foster and others. That's good work by Davis, catching Baluta on the way in. Baluta, though, quickly responds. A good shot from Davis. Baluta did respond there. See, that's what I'm talking about. That jab there, just stifling the attack as he's coming forward. Stops him in his tracks. That was better there from Davis. That's the end of the first round. Good left hook got through there from Baluta. He's got to be careful, Liam Davis. He throws lots of punches, all different angles, lots of them wide. This is better from Baluta now. That's better, because he's boxing at range, staying at distance there. That's better again from Davis, keeping him at distance. Better from Davis. A crowd like that, Baluta instantly wants to respond, though. He's determined to fight fire with fire. But Davis starting to land for the first time, right at the end of the third round. And that was a much better round for Liam Davis. Yeah, much better. Better work from Davis at the end of this round. Baluta responded. But Davis there, finishing the round strong. And uh, he won that round for me. Baluta coming forward, misses the target there. Davis continues to pop out that left jab. And left jab that's landing with a lot more frequency. It's good work by Davis. Yes, keeping Baluta at bay with that shot. Long right hand thrown in there by Baluta that was caught on the glove by Davis. Final few seconds of the fourth round. Yeah, well blocked that was from Davis. Right hand over the top from Baluta. So again, it's Davis for me controlling things again with that lead hand. That's good work. Stops him on the back foot, caught him with a lovely counter in the Ali shuffle to finish the fourth round. And Bell Sounds, fifth round. And this is the clash of heads right at the start of the round. What he's going to do now, though, Baluta, possibly. Richie is going for broke. He knows he's got. Davis has to stay disciplined in there now. Signs of frustration. Nice work there from Davis. <laughs> 40 seconds left in the sixth round. Good shot from Davis, long left hand, found the target. Baluta trying to go through the gears, encouraged by his corner. And there's the bell to end the seventh round. Fantastic atmosphere in here, great hometown support for the hometown boy Liam Davis. Good work by Davis. It's worth pointing out as well that a lot of the punches Baluta throws fall short of the target. Can't get close enough to make them pay. Yeah, that's because the movement... The, he put so much into that shot there, he just couldn't really come off his feet, but you have to give credit to, to Davis for maintaining the gap so he's moving backwards. Good shot from Davis as Baluta came in. And again, that's really smart work. He's just getting the tactics right, this basic boxing again from Davis. Nice shot there as Baluta came forward from Davis, good right hand. Three to go. 
Liam Davis in control. And again, with Davis just stepping back. Yeah, took a right hand on the way in, Baluta there, which made him spring back off the ropes. It was a good shot, good counter punch from Davis. Minutes ago in the tenth. Good work again from Davis. He's a trier, Baluta, I'll give him that, Richard. But he's trying from too far out, he's got to get closer. Maybe using his jab and measure that distance a little bit better, launching the attack from too far out, trying to land the hook when your opponent's moving away from you. Difficult shot to land, there you go, that was a clear example. Started the attack too far out, it's a hook. Davis is moving back, you're never going to hit the target. Very unlikely. And the bell sounds to signal the end of the tenth round, and Baluta is absolutely shattered as he slumps down on that stool. Davis again is in control. Baluta keeps coming forward, walking onto shots, missing the target with his punches there. And Liam Davis there, that was a chopping right hand. The loser with a wild swing and a miss again. Final round. The tactics again from the Davis camp have been spot on for me. Inside the final 30 seconds, Liam Davis almost there. The loser continues to swing. The crowd rising inside the Telford International Centre. They know their man's on the cusp of becoming European champion. Liam Davis knows it too. Fantastic performance. It will go to the judges' scorecards, but it would be one of these shocks if he's not crowned European champion in a few minutes' time. We go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Massimo Badrovecchio scores it. 116 to 112. Judge Hakan Sindemark scores it 118 to 110. And Judge Christoph Fernandez scores it 117 to 111. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now the WBC International and European Super Bantamweight Champion, Liam Davis Davis! Liam Davis is the European Super Bantamweight Champion, the WBC International Champion and the British Champion.